we are going to continue doing the Chapter 16, Preparing Financial Statements for a Corporation that is a Merchandising Business. In Section 16-1, we did Income Statement, with the only major difference from a service business being Cost of Merchandise Sold section. And now we're going to do the second financial statement, which is preparing a statement of stockholders' equity, which is a pretty simple statement, but crucial because we need the information from this statement to do our balance sheet, which will be the next section. So, stockholders' equity information. This is a financial statement that shows changes in the ownership for a fiscal period. So it's trying to show you the activity that's happened. The kinds of activity that you typically have in a corporation is a net income or net loss, which we'll get from the income statement. And then certain things will happen to the capital stock account related to issuing shares of stock or things like that that we'll have to account for. And then any dividends that we uh, issued, declared, and paid out during the period will also affect uh, the accounts. So the things that we're looking at on this statement of equity are capital stock and retained earnings. So the capital stock section is the first section that we're going to talk about. So a value that's assigned to a share of stock and printed on the stock certificate is called the par value. So we would have a par value listed on every uh, type of stock we had. So if we have common stock, preferred stock. So that is a stated amount and it's the value. We can assign any par value that's allowed by laws and states in which it incorporates. So that's just kind of as background information. If you take advanced accounting, you'll learn a whole lot more about this stuff. So let's look at this capital stock portion of the statement. So first we've got to do the heading, which again saying who, what, when. Who is the company name. The what is a statement of stockholders' equity. And it is for the year ended because we're showing all the activity to get to the end of the year. So the first section is the capital stock section, and we have a colon after that. We have to list the par value, which I think MindTap does for you typically. And then we're just showing the activity from the beginning to the end. So on January 1st, and we have to say how many shares of capital stock had been issued to shareholders. So 7,000 shares, and 7,000 shares times $10 par value says that they were at $70,000. And then we issued during the current year 500 shares. And the way that I knew that, again, was I had this credit where I issued more shares. I debited cash for the cash I got of 5000 and I issued and credited capital stock for 5000 So 500 shares at $10 per share is five grand to get to my balance at the end of the year, which was 75000 which was the same amount that was in that general ledger account. So that is your entire capital stock section. So then the next section that we want to do, again, there's capital stock. We're going to do retained earnings with a colon. And we're progressing the balance again and showing the activity from January 1st to December 31st. So January 1st, I'm going to get that amount from the general ledger, what I started with on January 1st in retained earnings. This next section in these three lines here is trying to figure out the net increase or decrease in the account. So I take net income after federal income tax, that number if you want to note this in your handout, because you have all this information, that number comes from the income statement, net income after federal income tax, less dividends declared during 2000. That is also coming out of the activity 
Condor account in the general ledger when I declared a dividend. And then I take net income minus that, and I would get my net increase of 70, 64,000. So 79 minus 15, 64. That's my net increase. I'm going to add that increase to my beginning balance to get to my balance at December 31st. The only thing that can be kind of tricky here is if I had a net loss. If I had a net loss, this would say net loss after tax of, say, minus $20,000. And then it would say add the dividends declared. So 20000 plus 15000 would be 35000 And this would say net decrease of $35,000. And then I would take the beginning minus the decrease to get to the ending balance. So just the only thing that can get tricky is if this is a loss instead of income. So I have my balance for capital stock of 75 grand. I have my balance of retained earnings of $130,000 at December 31st. I add those together to get my total stockholders equity. These three numbers, write this in your notes, circle it, asterisk, do something major. These are the amounts that I need to use on the balance sheet when I prepare that. I cannot use the general ledger balances. I have to use the amount I just computed on the statement on my balance sheet. So then let's just go through the audit your understanding real quick. What financial information does a statement of equity report? The changes in the ownership for a fiscal period. And what are the two major sections? Capital stock and retained earnings. And where's the information found to prepare that section? In the capital stock general ledger account. So that is section 6-2, preparing a statement of stockholders' equity for a corporation.